Hey everyone, Trevor at Top Loaded Gaming. Got some new pickups here. It's been a little while, so let's just jump right into it. Now, recently my parents were given a bunch of VHS tapes, I think from a neighbor, and they were like, hey, maybe maybe there's something in here that you know Trevor might want, so let's check with him. Pretty cool of them. And uh, I did find a couple things in there uh, that, at least novelty-wise, I thought was pretty cool. So we got Street Fighter the movie. We also got this. This was the coolest thing uh, I thought that was in the box was G.I. Joe the movie. Pretty sweet. I haven't seen this since I'm a kid. So next up we have this Game Over sign. I got this from GameStop. I think I got it on clearance maybe for like 14 bucks. I, I can't remember and I lost the receipt on this one so... I'm not sure how much I paid for it exactly, but uh, pretty cool little sign. I kind of liked it. So next up, we have something I picked up at a Walgreens. I think it's a Wal yeah, it's a Walgreens exclusive, and it's a Donkey Kong set made by Jack Pacific. It kind of looks just like the little Koopa Mario set that they also made. I don't know how this this came out. I don't know how this is a thing because I'm pretty sure. This was like a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive thing. So how it's not like a slap in the face to the people that, you know, collected these and, you know, they were worth a certain amount or whatever. This is no doubt going to fuck them. We got the Nika Friday the 13th Jason figure based off of the NES game. And if we open it actually plays the, the music when you get inside a, a, a camp from the game so that that's pretty sweet but again I, I just find it weird that they kind of screwed over the the people that had these uh, when they were San Diego comic-con exclusive uh, figures or whatever um, I mean that was years ago but I, I really, maybe there's a big difference in the packaging, but I, I don't know. Maybe the sound thing is unique to this one. So maybe there's going to be like some printing issue that, that still allows it to remain expensive, but I, I don't really see a difference. I didn't check it out though, so. Now this next thing I got, I had convinced myself I was not getting. And then it, it, it was sort of like a thing I was talking with, uh, with Smash JT, because he had one. He also destroyed his uh, in one of his videos. So I was asking him to trade for the controllers. I wanted the USB controllers. That's ultimately all I wanted for this thing. And I started telling myself, well, you figured 20 bucks a controller. So the most I'll spend on this is 40 or below. So recently I found it and it was $40. So I got it. We finally have the freaking... Sony PlayStation Classic and I only paid $40 for it and most probably I'm gonna take it take one controller out and flip it <laughs> and see what money I can recoup from it because literally all I wanted was a USB controller recently talking with disc art and a few other people I decided to go ahead and get some LEDs and backlight and as well as uh, light up the underneath of the shelves on my console shelf so ultimately I'm I'm gonna be covering this in a larger scale in my game room tour video that'll probably be the next video up within the next couple days so you know if that's something uh, you've been asking for I hear you it's coming one thing I recently picked up I took a chance on it was this five dollar LCD screen it said uh, EDTV which stands for Enhanced Definition TV and it's a sharp aquos so I finally got around to testing this thing out and my thinking was I can probably use this screen worst case scenario at my editing rig slash work desk when I get new consoles so I check it out and I'm playing Mike Tyson's punch out that is the way I like to test to see if there's any lag and I'm shocked to find that this TV really doesn't have any lag like not game breaking it might have a couple of milliseconds or whatever of, of lag technically but it's not game breaking 
the way it is on, you know, my HD TV playing through my AVS, I was incredibly shocked by the way this turned out. <laughs> how good this TV is. I'm definitely keeping it. Definitely glad I got it. If you're looking for a similar setup for maybe your work desk or, or something, a similar situation, I highly recommend getting this TV. I went on a couple of groups on Facebook and there are a couple of people that swore by this TV that they were more than happy to go over their thoughts on the TV. If you see one, I would definitely at least give it a shot. So next we're going to go over some pickups from two stores. One, uh, most of the pickups come from 2nd and Charles and we've, we've showed uh, pickups on the channel before from 2nd and Charles. And then the other was like one of those uh, game stores, uh, not like video game, but you know, like uh, Magic the Gathering and uh, card games and hero clicks, like that type of game store. They also sold uh, old video games. So one of the first pickups from Second and Charles is this Interact six button controller. It is programmable. If you want to set certain buttons to turbo and not have other buttons uh, on turbo, you can do that. It is a really cool, cool controller. I've been keeping my eye out for one like this. This is actually for the Sega Saturn. I had one just like this as a kid for the Sega Genesis. I've yet to find, well, I found one. It just, it was torn to pieces and I couldn't use it, but uh, we keeping an eye out for a Genesis one like this, but I'm, I'm extremely happy to get one and in really really it's in really good shape I mean, it, it's like It's almost like they would have taken it out of the package just to put it for sale. I, I, I don't know But it's it's in really really good shape So I was really happy to find this another pickup from second and Charles We got Street Fighter 2 special championship edition next up. We got a couple of Super Nintendo games We've got Mario is Missing. And I've been waiting a while to be able to play this one. Castlevania 4. Oh man, I've been waiting a while to play this one. I'm excited about that one. Alright, so for this next pickup, I guess I'm going to tell this little story. So, my buddy had these two Game Boy Advances. Now, one is a Model 1, 001, while the other is a 101. So, for him, the pink was the 101, which is the better backlit one, while the 001 is front lit, it's not as bright. Um, so, I told him, I said, well, you know, I mean, you can take the, the internals and just swap the shells out if you really want the, the red one, because, you know, obviously, who's, like, the red, uh, I think he was more preferable to him, so... I told him I could just swap them out for him and he was like okay well if you could do that I'll give you this and he gave me Contra for the Game Boy pretty freaking sweet I've been waiting for this one Contra the Alien Wars it's one of the only Contra games I've never really played I don't really have much experience with it so I've been waiting for this one alright and next up for the Game Boy another Game Boy game we got this at the game place I was talking about. Super Mario uh, Land 2, 6 Golden Coins. Next couple of games we got for the Game Boy Advance. So these were two I was definitely looking for. Zero Mission is my favorite Metroid game in existence. And then Circle of the Moon, Castlevania. I love all the Metroidvania Castlevanias. So happy to get those back in my collection. So TNC Surf Design, I had it before, but my copy was very, very yellowed, so this one is in a lot better shape. So I said, screw it, I'm going to get it and replace it. Now one thing I'm doing right now is I'm trying to find all the different revisions of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. In the future, I'm going to make a video on some of the differences between all the different revisions. And I want to have the physical copies. Next up, we have Breakthrough. We have Jeopardy. Got to get them all. Shinjin the Ruler. 
And that's a weird label. It's one of the weirdest labels. I don't know anything about this game. Hot B? 1990. Hot B. You select key to switch screens. Now I wonder... I wonder what the deal is that instead of this being in the manual, it's actually on the, on the label itself. It's really weird. So, imagine what's in the manual if that's on... <laughs> if that... If that... Did they run out of room on the manual? Like, how filled to the brim is that manual or just the, does the manual not exist? That is confusing. I, I knew this label existed. I've seen it before. But to see it in person is, is, is different. Alright, so next up we have Jeopardy. 25th anniversary. Yep, gotta get them all. So next up we have Rad Racer. And here's another game I knew absolutely nothing about. Amagon. And from that cover, I mean, is he like Shazam? Does he like, is he like a weakling and then grows into this Herculean sort of dude? Like, you could almost, you could, looking at the label, you could almost be forgiven for just looking at the dude, right? And, and looking at the title and thinking like, oh, well, this is just, this is just like, an adventure sort of thing like Conan or, or something like that like never looking at the dude with the assault rifle <laughs> below him okay next up we have Legacy of the Wizard another game I don't know really anything about I never really anything with wizards any cover that kind of looked like that I, I just kind of avoided Wall Street Kid all right, so next up we have an absolutely minty, absolutely minty copy of Super Spike Volleyball. So next up we have Romance of the Three Kingdoms. All right, so next up we have Bible Adventures, Kickle Cubicle. This is one that probably the wife is going to enjoy. She's more of the Lolo uh, puzzle type game player. Not really big into the puzzles. And next up, and coming with a manual, we have Paraticus. And then the very last game, one I've been waiting for for a little bit to find, we got DuckTales 2. I never actually got to play DuckTales 2 as a kid. I played the first game a little bit over a weekend rental, I believe it was. Never owned any of the DuckTales games, but never got to play DuckTales 2. I got to try it out a little while testing it and it looks it looks pretty cool. Looks like a looks like a good game. Well, that's everything I recently got. That's going to do it for me. Well, until next time. This is Trevor at Top Loaded Fucking Game.